In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this simple text animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing we want to do is create a new text layer. So I'll grab my type tool and I'll click on the program window and I can type out whatever I want. So I'll type out animate text. Now it looks a little bit small right now. So whatever font or size yours comes out in, you're going to want to head over to the essential graphics panel on the right hand side and you can select your text layer. If you don't happen to see any of these windows, then you can just go to window and you can open up any of them here. So essential graphics should be checked. If your whole workspace is looking messy, you can just reset to the all panels layout, something like this. And essential graphics should be on the right hand side. So with the text highlighted, I can increase the scale and I can center it with these simple centering vertical and horizontal buttons. And I can choose whatever font I want. So I can highlight the text and then choose whatever font makes sense for me. I will just go with this one here. Next, we're going to add our little rectangle line shape. So in the same toolbar, I can grab my rectangle tool and I can just drag out a little text cursor type of object. So this will pop up in the same layer as long as it's still highlighted. So you see we have our text and then our shape layer. And I can also center this vertically and I can move the position X and Y. We can start it at the beginning or end of the text. So let's just start at the end here and we're going to animate it. I've chosen a red fill color, but you can choose any fill color you want. White, red, uh, blue, whatever you want. You have the whole color picker there. And you can also do other things like add a stroke or shadow, but we'll just continue on from here. Now, after I've created this little rectangle shape, I also just want to duplicate this shape. So I'll press Command C and Command V. That's just a simple shortcut to copy and paste it. You could also right click and duplicate. And just on the middle one here, uh, we're gonna use this as a mask instead. So if I want just to distinguish, I can just call it mask or whatever I want. But now we know the middle one we're gonna use as a mask. And in the essential graphics panel, right next to all those color appearances, we can choose mask with shape. So you'll also see this little symbol change. So it's no longer a shape, it's now a mask. And we're just gonna actually change a few things about the shape to make it a longer rectangle. So right now what's happening is it's just masking out the shape of this rectangle. But under the align and transform panel, I can actually increase the width. So let me just make the width like 5,000 or something that's long enough to where you can see that it takes up the whole text. So in my case, I guess just about 3000 is fine. So that just when it's on the edge here, it'll cover the entire text path. Now I also want to work with these responsive design options. So under the pin two, I'm going to pin it to that shape layer so that whenever I move that line, this whole little invisible mask will move underneath as well. So when I select shape one, I also want to choose which edge to use. So you can just center it or choose the left edge. I'll just choose the center. So it'll center it to the middle of this line here. And now when I go to move this line here, when I move it with these left and right tools, it also moves that entire mask you can see. And so it creates this smooth mask where whenever we move the line, it also brings in this entire invisible mask. So if I just move this all the way to the left on the X axis, I can then head over to the effect controls panel. So this one's on the left hand side and in the effect controls panel, I can see the graphics that we've created and I can do a little drop down menu on this shape layer and under the transform options, make sure it's under the shape layer, not just the general transform options of the video. I can add a keyframe at the beginning of this clip on the position. So right here, I'll add a keyframe and it starts here on the left and I can move over up until however many seconds I want for my text to animate in and I can scroll over all the way until the text is animated. Now, a couple of tricks you can do. I'll show you what this looks like. That's just a smooth linear transition. If you want, you can actually highlight these keyframes and do little tricks with the velocity, such as easing in or easing out. So I can ease out and ease in. 
of the keyframes and that sort of gives this little slow start and slow finish makes it look a little cooler you can also squeeze them in if you want to make it faster or pull them apart if you want to make it longer so I'll squeeze them in until it looks about right for how I want it and then another little trick if I want to fade this in or out so let's say to begin let's just say I start off the screen so that takes care of that but let's say I end right here and I just want to fade out so I can also just add an opacity keyframe so right here it's at 100 and then I can go forward just a tiny bit and put it to zero so now it'll animate that little bar will fade out I can mess around with when it fades out by moving the keyframes but you get the basic idea here uh, and you can use the you can use the concept of keyframes to continue to animate anything about this such as maybe making the text fade out or doing the whole process again but the other way so a little trick I can actually just command C copy these two keyframes and then command V to paste them and then just switch the order of them so take the first one make it second and take the other one make it first and that'll actually make the animation appear the other way so if I want to turn the opacity back on I can do the same thing just flip the keyframes and now we have a simple way to animate in and also just copy paste and flipping it and it animates out so my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, you can check out dozens of more and similar ideas for free in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. If you want to check out some effect presets and transitions that I've already created, you can find them for sale on my website, justinodisho.com shop and other freebies as well on there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.